Hi and welcome to I Design My Life channel. I'm Sumit and I'm a life and a mind coach. So today we are going to talk about something very very important and that is success. We received a lot of emails from our viewers for designing a series for success. Just like we have designed the series for procrastination, willpower, focus, productivity, etc. So here we are with the series Success Framework. Now this is going to be our biggest series so far. Before we move ahead with the session, let me tell you a story. This story is about Vivek. Vivek was a very ordinary kind of a person with a proud possession, a horse who he named Charlie. They both lived in a village. Vivek loved Charlie and was proud that he had the best horse in the village. There was a pond near his house. Whenever Charlie was thirsty, Vivek used to take Charlie to the pond to drink water. After some time, Charlie used to go to the pond by himself. Vivek and Charlie's life was going as usual until one day they saw a very beautiful horse with a smart and a rich owner. Vivek could not hold himself. He just went and spoke to the owner and said, Sir, what is it you do? to become rich and have such a beautiful horse. The owner looked at Vivek and said, it's not very difficult. When you go past across this village, there's a mountain over there. And when you go past that mountain, you will see a pond over there. It's a magical pond. So if you and your horse go and have water from this pond, your life is going to change and it is going to become just like me. Vivek got really, really excited about this journey and he went to sleep thinking that tomorrow I'm going to go and have the water from the pond. Next day he woke up. He was very excited. He started riding. He was sitting on Charlie's back and they both were riding. But it was a long journey. During the journey Vivek slept and when he opened his eyes he saw himself very close to the old pond where Charlie used to have water. He was amazed and could not figure out what was happening. He said to himself, okay, I'm going to try tomorrow. Next morning, Vivek got up again very excited. He got on Charlie. They started riding. It was a long journey and again he slept. When he opened his eyes, he again found himself near that old pond. He got irritated. He said to himself, okay, I'm going to try tomorrow. Next day he tried, the same thing happened. This kept on happening for days and days and days until one day, Vivek actually gave up. He gave up drinking water from the magical pond. His life started moving ahead again. He started getting on with his life. But there was sadness in him. He was not happy that he was not able to have water from that magical pond. One day while he was sitting in the room, there was a knock on the door. And when he opened the door, he was amazed. It was Buddha on his doorstep. And Buddha was begging for almonds. Vivek took some almonds and gave it to Buddha. Buddha took the almonds and then when he looked at Vivek, he said, Young man, I see sadness in your eyes. What is wrong? What is making you sad? Vivek told Buddha the entire story. Buddha listened to his problem, smiled and told him, he needs to win Charlie first. He needs to train Charlie. Because to get to the magical pool, he needs Charlie and until unless he understands Charlie, he will never be able to make to the magical pond. And then Buddha left. Friends, there is a very important life lesson hidden in this story. Vivek is all of us who strive to succeed, but we cannot succeed alone. All of us need Charlie. Charlie is our mind. We cannot succeed until and unless we win our minds or we train our minds. When Vivek was tired and slept, Charlie got back to his old ways and this is what we do. When we are tired, our willpower becomes weak and we get back to our old patterns. When we get back to our old patterns, we fail multiple times and then we give up. Old porn in the story represents the place where we are currently and the magical pond represents the place where we want to go. We need to win our minds first and before we can reach the magical pond, 
to win our minds we need to understand our mind and we also need to understand the journey to understand our mind and success i've created a success framework this framework has already been proven with my clients all of the knowledge that i use to help my clients succeed is in this entire series this entire series is going to have a lot of episodes and each would be containing a lot of information today we are going to look at the essential elements of the success framework so the success framework stems from a deep rooted belief that the formula for winning remains the same whether you are a sportsman or a working professional or a housewife since the principle behind success remains the same anyone using them should be able to reach their full potential and succeed so let me spend some time around talking about success success is not absolute it's relative my definition of success might be very different from your definition of success and that is perfectly fine also success is not an event it's a process it's a journey so if you believe that you can get success by listening at this video and not practice what i'm saying then i'm really afraid you'll not be able to gain much out of this entire series so let's get to the framework now we can divide our world into two parts inner world and an outer world the contribution of your inner world to your success is around 90% this part of the success framework is about you you are made up of your body and mind and we are going to spend a lot of time around understanding your mind your mind is your powerhouse this is the core of your success this is where top level guys have an edge your success is guaranteed if you conquer this portion of the success framework now we move on to the outer world the first element in your outer world is your goal this is where you want to be when we take up this section of the framework we'll talk about goal setting we'll talk about the importance of why behind your goals we'll talk about the visualizations and how you can utilize visualization to achieve your goals and how visualization helps you the second portion of the outer world is strategy this is the how part of the goals this is about the journey that you take towards your goals in the strategy section we'll talk about the resources you need to succeed this would be something like time finances team focus role of habits etc so there is a reason we have drawn the journey in this fashion because it's actually like this you go up and down success never happens in a straight line now i'm going to introduce you to the most important element of the success framework and this is awareness it belongs to both the worlds and that is why we are placing it at the top and at the center all along the journey we need awareness of our inner world as well as the outer world now once we've understood it we need action to move towards to our goals and there are a lot of things which stop us from taking the desired actions these are the things like our fears procrastination lack of determination discipline etc all these are the outcomes of a misaligned mind so we are also going to cover this in our series so today i've talked about the elements of the success framework in the upcoming videos we are going to take each of this element and go through these in detail i'm also going to give you a lot of documents and exercise which you can follow to move towards your goals so guys this is it for this session please keep watching the series and keep succeeding in the next video we are going to cover the mind extensively till that time invest in yourself design your life the way you want to and remember to say to yourself i designed my life